Welcome to the latest Motor Kings Council COVID-19 update. The number of cases is currently 893 per 100,000 people in Milton Keynes. This is around 2,400 cases a week. On the first day of national lockdown alone, a record 494 people tested positive for COVID-19 in Milton Keynes on a single day. Milton Keynes University Hospital has more patients with COVID-19 than at any point during the pandemic, and that number is rising every day. Our medical and nursing professionals are battling to save lives. People you love, your friends, your neighbours, colleagues. These are people we know, people we care for. The human cost of this pandemic is stark and terrible. The situation we face is grave. Many people already know this, and they are doing the right thing. To others, I simply say, do not risk yourself or others. During lockdown, you must stay at home. This is the single most important action we can all take to protect the NHS and save lives. Around one in three people who are infected with COVID-19 have no symptoms and could be spreading the disease without knowing it. If you must leave home, it should be for essential activity only. Please don't go to the supermarket or visit Centre MK as a family or for something to do. Do not mix with other households unless you have a legal exemption to do so. You might feel fine, but you might also be one of the people who is spreading the virus but has no symptoms. It's fairly simple. If you visit a friend or family member now, not only might you be catching or spreading the virus, but you're also prolonging the pandemic. If you stay home, we return to normal more quickly. Milton Keynes schools are closed, apart from vulnerable children or for those of key workers. Obviously, if you do need to go out to the shops or for any essential activity, you should observe hands, face and space very carefully and follow any guidance provided in the places you go to, such as from schools or in workplaces. This week, we've begun a new pilot scheme to test frontline key workers who don't have any symptoms of the virus. We hope this will help drive down transmission rates. We're starting by testing key workers from partners such as the police and the fire service who are out in the communities doing their jobs, as well as council workers such as social workers. We're hoping to extend this scheme to other key workers, such as those who work in early years childcare, if it goes well. Staff from the NHS and schools have access to their own testing. The kind of tests we're using are called lateral flow, and they give results within an hour. They are not perfect, but they can help in identifying people without symptoms who might not otherwise get a test. If the pilot scheme goes well, then we'll roll it out further. As the scheme is for specific groups, we will be contacting those eligible for a test. Please don't contact us to be tested or travel without being asked to. If you need a test, you can book one at nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus or by calling 119. The test centres in NMK are open every day. I know that another worry people have is over their finances, their job or their business. There are a number of schemes nationally and locally that have been put in place to help. I've also asked the government for more financial support for individuals, the self-employed and some business sectors, as well as more support to ensure people who have to self-isolate get the support they need. If you do need help, please check our website. It's January and it's a new year. It has started in a really difficult way and we are being asked to do even more. It's hard. However, the key message is really clear. Stay home, protect the NHS, save lives. Until next time, thank you and goodbye.